Now we're going to look at the femoral nerve tension test. The goal of this test is to assess for compression of either the femoral nerve itself or the femoral nerve roots. Remember that the femoral nerve originates from the lumbar plexus, specifically nerve roots L2, L3, and L4, with a major contribution coming from L4. Remember that L4 in just a minute. Now, you'll notice that the femoral nerve tension test has unknown psychometric properties. They have not been determined. They have not been subjected to a rigorous study. So we can't say necessarily that it's good for ruling up. We can't say that it's good at ruling down. For all we know, it might be bad at both of those things, but it does have an important use. If we look at these first three tests, the slump test, the straight leg raise test, and the cross straight leg raise test, there's one big problem with all three of these. And it's in patients who have compression of the L4 nerve root. So if you perform these tests on a patient with an L4 nerve root compression, they may actually fail to provoke their symptoms. There's just something weird with the L4 nerve root. So if you have a patient that has any of those lower extremity paresthesias, numbness, tingling, burning, shooting, pain, but these first three tests all come up negative and you're just kind of scratching your head, you might consider giving the femoral nerve tension test because it could be a nerve root compression of L4 that was failed to be provoked by these three tests. Okay, And this test specifically puts that tension on the femoral nerve and the femoral nerve roots, particularly L4. So how do you perform the femoral nerve tension test? Well, you'll begin with the patient in prone like you see here, and then you're going to take their knee and passively flex it to 90 degrees. Then you'll take their entire lower extremity and elevate the thigh at the hip joint, and you're moving it into hip extension while maintaining this knee flexion. Okay. So what constitutes a positive test? Well, when I do this movement, it would have to reproduce their pain and or signs and symptoms. And by pain, we mean burning, shooting pain in this lower extremity. And by signs and symptoms, we mean numbness and tingling in this lower extremity. So basically, ipsilateral lower extremity paresthesias, meaning whatever leg I do this on, I have to reproduce the paresthesias in that same lower extremity for this to be a positive test. So what would clue me in to do this test? Well, I would have a patient with low back pain, and they'd have associated paresthesias going down the right lower extremity. So I perform the femoral nerve tension test on the right lower extremity. So hopefully that makes sense.